treating your significant other well and romancing and courting um, your girlfriend, that's a, that's a daily, that's a daily ritual. You know, I mean, that's something that you should be doing all the time. First of all, I watched the movie this morning. It's so much fun. Um, tell you. me a little bit about how you got involved with uh, G- GAC. Well, I mean, you know, Bill Abbott and Michelle Vickery were uh, big champions of mine over at the Hallmark Channel. You know, after they, uh, you know, left the network, uh, you know, we kind of all wondered where they'd land. And, you know, Bill started this new network. And, you know, I was hoping that uh, I would get the opportunity to work with him again. and. You know, this project uh, came along, which was uh, written by Jessica Lowndes and produced by Jessica Lowndes. And she also wrote and, you know, uh, produced and recorded uh, some of the original music in the movie. So she's a total powerhouse. And, uh, yeah. you know, I, I, I like the role. I, I'd never played a doctor on TV before, uh, let alone a heart surgeon. <laughs> and I, I really actually liked the story because I felt like it was about loss, you know, and grief. And, you know, that was the reason why these two characters, specifically my character, were sort of, you know, shut down uh, romantically. And, uh, you know, through helping uh, my character's grandfather recover from a mild stroke, my character opens up again and and, Mm then finds love with Jessica's character. And I just thought it was a a really interesting story that hadn't been told within this genre yet. So I thought it was a cool opportunity. It was, it's an awesome movie. I absolutely love it. And it's obviously the perfect fit for Valentine's Day. Got me in the spirit. What does Valentine's Day look like for you? Look, Valentine's Day uh, is a pretty commercialized, you know, holiday. I mean, it, it really is a... I, I, I believe it began as a major marketing ploy by, I don't know, some department store or something. I think you're um, right. Historically. <laughs> but, um... You know, and, and I'm, I, I'm a pretty romantic guy, I think. I really like to spoil the people that I'm with. And, you know, I have no problem saying those those three little words. And, you know, I, I'm pretty affectionate. So, I mean, I kind of feel like treating your significant other well and romancing and courting um, your girlfriend, that's a, that's a daily... That's a daily ritual, you know? I mean, that's something that you should be doing all the time. Um, So because of that, I don't put as much onus on Valentine's Day as maybe some other people do. With that said, um, you better not be empty handed on Valentine's Day, gentlemen. So, you know, I mean, you gotta gotta put some effort into something, whether it's planning something or buying something for them that, that, they, that you know they'll enjoy or doing something special, you know, because I mean, it, it really is a day to, uh, you know, to honor the love that you share with somebody. Do you and your girlfriend want to take those next steps, maybe start a family soon, anytime soon? TBD. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Let's get to Valentine's Day first and then we'll okay. go from there. <laughs> okay. I imagine that this was shot while COVID precautions were in place. Yeah. Um, how did you guys work on your chemistry, you know, before getting on set? Because I'm, I imagine you have to wear masks with table reads and things like that. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, you usually just wing it. <laughs> You're not really, uh, you know, back in your trailer working on your chemistry. You know? <laughs> Especially sure. since, you know, we're both happily in relationships. So, uh, you know, I mean, I I think chemistry in a movie can manifest itself in a lot of different ways. You don't have to fall in love with your co-star, you know. You might feel the total opposite way about your co-star and then it it comes off on screen as as chemistry. But what I loved about Jessica is, you know, she was so committed to this project and to her character and collaborative, you know, and I don't ever phone in a performance, you know, I just like to always give 110%, especially within this genre. I really like to, you know, try to elevate it and and deepen it out as much as possible and really have a strong emotional foundation. And she was just right there with me, you know, kind of step by step. And I just felt, I felt her commitment um, to making uh, this little movie the best it could be. And I love that, you know, so that really made my experience. Do you have any kind of go-to tricks before you do a kissing scene? (laughs) Brush your teeth, you know, in your your trailer before the scene. There's there's my top, my top trick. Um, You know, 
you just kind of you kind of just got to go for it you know and sometimes you don't you don't really know what you're going to get you don't know if 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 your co-star is going to meet you on that level you know and right if it's you like a passionate kind of like open mouth kiss or if it's just going to be like you know a, a fake sort of passionate kiss i mean you just don't you just don't know what's yeah. going to happen you know, like, so I. You study their other movies, and before? then it kind of kills it if you talk about it. You know, <laughs> like you know, then it kind of kind of kills the moment. You kind of just want to like go for it. Um, I, I will tell you this. You know, on Harmony with the Heart, Jessica decided to have her boyfriend on set. You know, behind the monitor Awkward. on the last day of shooting <laughs> when our characters finally kissed. So you know, I mean. That didn't make it come. That didn't make it very comfortable for me. <laughs> you know? No, that, that was a little. Does. That was a little awkward, Jessica. But hey, <laughs> whatever you guys are into. <laughs> does Corinne ever visit set? <laughs> um, no, no. I mean, I, I don't, I don't really love to like bring my significant other to the workplace. I don't. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. You know, but for me. I'm just so focused on what I'm doing, you know, yep. especially if you're, you know, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a romantic storyline, you know, I, I, it's just, I don't know, it just feels a little strange. No, I agree. I mean, even if I'm doing a Zoom and my husband's not yeah. working, I'm like, please yeah. get out you of the like, room. You want, your, you want your husband in the background, like eating a sandwich? Nope. Yeah, <laughs> like, sure don't. like, I'm trying to focus here. <laughs> please watch Harmony with the Heart. Uh, this Saturday, February 12th, 8 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time on GAC Family.